Okay, hello everyone. I've got a lot of students and a lot of parents asking about using Show My Homework and just being able to make sure their login works. So I thought the easiest way to be able to show it to everyone at once would just be to record a quick video for everyone so that you can see how it works and use the same process at home. So I'm going to start on the St. Mark's Catholic School website. There are many different websites that you can, or many different browsers you can use for this. So if you are using Internet Explorer, Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, it doesn't matter. One thing I will say is that sometimes there are some issues logging in if there is already another student or another person logged in with a Google account on that computer. Some things that can make it a little easier is using a different browser. So for instance, if you normally use Chrome, try using Firefox. And also just checking that the Google account is signed out before you start. So just to begin, I'm just going to go to Google. It's going to make sure that I am signed out. So there's no button in here that says sign in. So, so far, we're all good. I'm going to go back to the school website. And from Quick Links, I'm just going to go down to Show My Homework. You can go directly to the Show My Homework website as well. Either one is absolutely fine. Now I'm on the Show My Homework website. I'm actually going to ignore this top section here, the staff, parent, student. Parent logins will be given out next week, and they have to be activated within a small time frame of them being given out. I believe it's either 48 or 36 hours. So when they go home, parents will be able to click here, say I don't have an account, and they can enter a code supplied by the school to sign up. But the most important thing is to be able to get the students to log on, and they do not use any of this area at all. Instead, students go down to sign in with Google, and they'll use their school Google account. So just to make sure I'm not logged in with Google, I'm going to go here and I'm going to click sign in with Google. This is my St. Mark's account, but I'm not going to use that one because that will show you a different view to what the students see. So instead, I've just borrowed a student account to be able to show you. So I'm going to go to use another account. And for this one, I'm going to type in. the student's username, followed by the normal, again, at st-marks.me.uk. This is the same that's used to log into all Google accounts, or be the same as you can find stuck into the student's diary, given on the sticker in the first day. You must put the at, at st-marks.me address, or else this won't work. Then when I click next, I'm going to be asked to authenticate. And this just proves that, again, this student has a school login. And this is nice and easy. Because it's the same as the email address, but without the at safe-marks.me safe part. By the way, this will only occur the first time you log in and automatically once every two weeks just to ensure that there's no device that's left logged into this, because again, school accounts can carry more sensitive information, so it's just an extra process. Then the same password that we use to log into the computers, and then I just press login. So again, same password, it's written in the diary, it's written that they can log into the computers. Now it should take us straight in. And on here, we can see a few things. So these are the homeworks that have been set so far. There are two homeworks for Friday. If I go down over this side, you can see the student's account, calendar, gradebook, notice board, my drive support. The main thing, to be honest, that's the most important thing to look at is the to-do list. If we go to the calendar, we can also see other homework that's been set. So any of these green homeworks are homeworks that have been set and only apply to this student that I'm on. Now, I'm glad I picked Holly to be able to do this with, because actually, there are some things, if I go back to my to-do list up here, that Holly will have completed. So I'm just going to go to her completed section so we can have a look as well. We've got issued and completed. So we've got a lot of homework that's been finished here, which is fantastic. And you can see these little tick boxes down the side. They're often quite hard to spot on the computer, but they are here as well. So once the student has completed their homework, just to be able to help them manage their time, all they need to do is tick so if I look at Mr. Lopez's Spanish work, they can tick 
once it's been completed, and it will disappear from the to-do list. If I then go back to completed, it is down here, and I can find it again. Or I should be able to. I thought it was going very well up until this point. It seemed to have worked. I think if I refresh the page, it should come up. There we go. So it has come up here now. And you can uncheck it if you've accidentally checked it as well. So I'll uncheck this one and bring it back. And it's now back in the issued section. Again, the calendar is very useful because it will tell you what date the teacher set the work and what date it's due. So you can have a look at it this way as well if you would prefer. And these will only apply to this particular student. The school calendar applies to every year group, but you would need to select the year. So if we went down to year seven, we can see every single year seven homework that's set. But by default, the My Calendar will only personalize to those certain students that are on here and the student that is logged in at the time. This will only be the ones on there. And the same thing with the to-do list. Uh, I hope this clears up a few things. And if there are any other questions, please do send me an email. I'm sorry if I haven't been able to respond to any parents' emails as well. There's just been too many over the past few days for me to keep getting back to. And I thought this would be the easiest way to be able to show everybody what to do. Once you're done, you can just close down the browser. You can log out if you want to as well. But to be honest, it's easier just to close down the browser and it will remember the next time they're logged in. The only thing that might change is it might ask them to just authenticate again where it brings up that LGFL and they type in their normal school username and password. I hope that helps. And again, please contact me if there is any further information.